हेलो एवरीवन सो अ लॉट ऑफ यू आस्क क्वेश्चंस रिगार्डिंग लिथोलॉग्स सो आई एम हियर टू शो यू हाउ एग्जैक्टली वी ड्रॉ लिथोलॉग्स एंड व्हाट दे एक्चुअली मीन सो आई एम हियर दिस एरिया इज कॉल्ड ड्रम हेलर इट्स अ वर्ल्ड जियोलॉजिकल हेरिटेज साइट इट हैज इट इज लाइक फेमस फॉर इट्स डायनासोर फॉजल्स सो लेट मी शो यू लाइक वट्स वेटी क्लोज टू मी ओवर हियर so you can see here for example some layers let me zoom out so this is first of all this is called an outcrop okay so you can see uh, the rocks that are cropping out over here these layers that you see here they have been eroded where i'm standing they would have been present here at some point of time but now they are not present so now what we have over here is uh is is that part is eroded but the rocks in uh, on the cliff in front of me they are still preserved but they are cropping out so we can see them we can observe them on this road side uh but this stratigraphy this layered structure will if you imagine under my feet over there it will be continuous okay so all these layers are present underneath as well similar to these now if you look closely to this so you can see two layers over here so there is a dark one at the bottom and the light one at the top and in between you see uh, other beds so if you look closely to these so this layer is a mud layer okay so it looks more muddy over here like so it's it's different so this this rock that you see over here is mud okay you can see here this is mud mud stone i should say okay it these are not very lithified they are not strong rocks they are very friable and this layer that you see here is is sandstone so it's very friable okay uh you can see here you can could if i zoom in close enough so you should be able to see the sand grains here so these are this is coarse granite overall okay so if you were to plot uh the grain size on this so this will be fine grain and this will be coarse grain and going from bottom to top that's the thickness part so i look at it here and i can show you like what would it look like if i were to plot the all right so let's draw the litholog uh, over here so on x axis i'm going to plot the grain size and on y axis i'm going to plot thickness maybe thickness is not the best term to use here you can think of it as just like vertical position exactly where it plots uh and the finer the grain size the more leftwards is it going to, it is going to plot on the x axis and as i move vertically up i move along the y axis now the first layer that you see the dark one the mud layer uh it is fine grained okay maybe the grain size is not changing much as i go to the, to the top so i draw kind of like this straight line towards the uh like close to the origin and then uh as i move into the lighter layer on the top uh i move into a coarse grain size the contact is pretty sharp there is no gradational contact here so i jump to coarse grain size and there is very minor grain size reduction as you move towards the top so that you can see in 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 the curve over there and then i have some layers over there in which the grain size is is varying there are some like intercalated mud layers there are some uh coarse layers again bit of sand and then as i move towards the top i am back into the coarse grain regime and which is uh slowly grading towards more finer uh which is getting finer towards the top so that is reflected in this leftward movements leftward shift in the black curve so combined together i get this lithologue now in this particular outcrop it is very hard to see if there are any sedimentary structures just because the face is so weathered uh but let's hypothetically assume if there were, there were any sedimentary structures visible you could also plot them in the lithologue so for example if there are any planar beds you can plot them uh if if there are any uh let's say cross laminaceous ripple marks you can plot those as well and if there sometimes could be evidences of let's say here at the top of this thick bed uh sand bed uh the lower one maybe let's say if there you see roots at the top so you can draw those as well
again this is these are hypothetical i didn't actually see them in this particular outcome i'm just saying like if you could see them this is something that you can draw within the litho log so uh, that's how you draw a litho log and that is what it actually means it is a very very simple diagram but it is very powerful so different sedimentary environments different sedimentary uh, outcrops they will have their own lithologue and it is not necessary that you need an outcrop to do, draw a lithologue it could also be for example if you are drilling a well you you could uh, make a lithologue from the observations that you make there okay so uh, next time maybe in the next video we will see uh, some sedimentary environment and compare it with uh, with another environment uh, and see like how their lithologues differ